what about the crystal structure of the carbon, like in terms of SPQ, Yeah, the SPQ crystal, you see, structure. the crystal structure of the carbon is what we call graphene. It is a gaseous state of the element. Oh, and I it see. becomes, it, it becomes a order, but we have managed to com convert it back into a structure. This is why when you use a CO2, like in uh, where there is a lot of smell, it extracts the smell because itself is the crystal structure of, uh, but in a physical matter, we have changed. In, in 2005, 2006, the Scientists at uh, a company we cannot mention in Belgium, uh, we have the documents where it confirmed that we produced the first graphene or the first crystal structure of the carbon. And we know in the world of science, crystal structure of a gas is order, it's the smell. And uh, if you slightly turn the order, it'll become color you can give it color orientation. In a way you, um, all the coloring you get in most of the foods nowadays, from canned food to even the fresh meat, all look the same, the same color. They use carbon orientation of the crystal structure of the gas. And this gives it the color. And uh, if this gas interacts with the, um, the salt of the body of the man, can create havoc in certain cases. And um, the the colors and the vitamins, all the vitamin, all the coloring you see, sorry, no vitamin, all the coloring you see in the food, e-coloring is a crystal or the carbon orientation. Oh. That's why the colors of your food, doesn't matter if you buy it this year or 10 years from time, the tomato juice always looks the same. No tomatoes in 10 years is the same to produce the same. They are given a common structure. There is something very important, maybe that's why you came here. Uh, we have this problem already within, um, uh, within what we call the structure of the Keshe Foundation. It's something we're worrying us a lot and it's been part of our worry in the past few weeks. Many of you, and it's bothered me this a lot because I knew about this some years ago and in my business world I knew the, uh, the problem and for the first time I've seen it, one of the knowledge seekers we love so much. And that is um, the interaction of these carbon colors in the fabrics, especially the sport fabrics. I don't want to mention the names. Uh, all the top brand, this colorful clothing you see, is mm -hmm. made by the carbon injection coloring which is produced from what we call crystal gas, which is, comes from the carbon, it comes from oil industry mainly, and from mining industry. And these interact with the salt the body of the man and creates allergies which can even lead to death through cancer and combination of the skin, second layer of the skin change. Um, the sports companies who make these are fully aware of their danger, but because of the profitability, they do not publicize. Most of these fabrics which carry these kind of coloring, it, they create a condition, it's very much like in a state of GANS, but it's a gas state injected into the polymers, that the field interaction with the middle layer of the body creates allergies. And these allergies can sit within the liver and kidney. And can lead to uh, what we call uh, reactions, allergies, massive allergies, and couple of companies I don't want to mention here have recorded death by using their sportswear. And it's kept away from public. When you see these colorful tops which are all fancy colors, remember 
they are created by carbon and within the structure of your amino acid there is a carbon factor with the presence of salt gives your body of your uh, what do you call it muscle tissue or a salt tissue or fat layer and this in a given way with the different salts in the body of the man can create allergies and if it's not controlled rapidly in the long term can lead to death to cancer creation. This is a, this is what um, a lot of knowledge seekers um, have to remember. Don't get carried away and maybe that's why you came from uh, Mongolia to bring us this gift that we could speak about it. Um, that uh, this crystal structure of the gas which then is converted to its orientation to colors used in food, even the tin foods, there are a lot of concern about these additives in the clothing because of, the, especially with the sports people, that they sweat and they create a condition, changes the middle layer salt level and leads to massive problems. The skin cancer, it, uh, the position of the salt change within the structure of the liver leads to liver cancer and the lymph problems. And uh, carbon as it is a crystal structure, then in the lymph changes to crystal, actual physical crystal structure within the lymph of the body of the man. And then it creates all sorts of inflammations and all sorts of problems. And it's dangerous. And please do not, please avoid, if you can, you're not sporting for the color of it, try to wear plain clothes, sportswear, and keep away from, even the blacks are created by these colors, by this process. And as now we have the knowledge, especially in the Keshe Foundation, we have produced this graphene at the room temperature structure with the right salts in, in the laboratories confirmed by one of the leading nanotechnology organizations in, in the world in 2006, 2005, when we gave them the sample to test. Don't wear these fancy color clothing, which is, again, is a carbon oriented. It is in a crystal condition. They bring it in with a polymer, and in the sweat, in the temperature, the way you make ganses with the salt of the body of the man, changes the, the salt content of the middle layer. And these branded names were aware of this in early, early late 1990s. And this came in, they pushed it through, and they're not disclosing it. But um, it's dangerous to understand. You look like, to look fancy, it doesn't affect all of us, but those of us who get affected through balanced fields, it's like when you create a Gans of a given strength, um, you uh, you create interactions. It's like when we use uh, ganses for um, health, used to be healthier, we always add the amino acid to it. Now the amino acid is within the structure of the middle layer, which is the first interaction phase. Our outer layer skin is more or less not dead, but is in a matter state. But the inner is the first layer, which is carrying the Gans state of the existence with the amino acid carbon. And then you have the salt in it. Now you produce different ganses, which can lead to crystallization. We see it in the Gans boxes. And these transfer through the limbs into blocking limbs and all sorts, and then they transfer into the liver and the position in part of crystallizing the liver structure. And it, um, it, it creates a skin cancer and it can lead to death. Just be careful, very much. This is one of our greatest concerns for the past few weeks in Cash Foundation because we've seen it and is one of the ones we love so much and it has to be looked after. Don't touch clothing which is crystallized, bright lights and it looks nice. Um, you could be one of the few to get touched and it's not a nice feeling, it's not a nice way to deal with it. The clothing sports companies have been aware of this for over 20 years. I know this one from my retail time when we used to run our 
uh, what we call retail divisions. I spoke recently to my group again in the background, they still have the same problem and I gave an instruction, none of our organizations can touch this ever again. We've never seen it, we've seen it not. I gave instruction to my organizations, all goods on this has to be taken off the shelves across the world. This is part of the work we understand and maybe by you coming here from Mongolia for the first time and uh, bringing such a knowledge, we can enlighten our knowledge seekers. Thank you, right. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank maybe you. that's what the message is. Um, these color, bright colors, even in the food, I was one of those who advocated a lot of usage of cans and tins and I, now looking at it, we see the allergies in children. A lot of hyperactivity in children coming through the food allergy is again all the gas crystal uh, which is added in combination with the structure of the body of man. It releases carbon energy which is literally like pure sugar and makes children active or hyperactive. That's why the children become, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, allergy to certain additives. We explained this in one of the teachings some four or five years ago in the Keshe Foundation Knowledge Seekers, you can find it. Carbon allergies to additives, because again they come from coal and they converted it into the gas of the carbon, which is and then which is a crystal structure, and then they convert it into um, what orientation gives it the color. We see this in the structure of the diamonds. In, in diamond structure, we just need a, a small punch and then we get the color of the stone. We understand the process very well. But please keep away from bright, all these fancy colored sport, polyester, polypropylene and nylon. Uh, and you try to use as much as you can plain materials or fabrics without coloring added in the way they do, especially for a sportswear which you sweat and you make the layers active, warm and in that process we we see the changes in the inner layer salt level that the grain of the change, it becomes like a grain of salt in the middle layer irritates the tissues and you see it like rashes because now the crystal structure of the carbon inside from the uh, from the clothing has affected your um, inner uh, inner layer and then you build it to rashes and the body has to build a mechanism to get it out as it's trying to get it out through the limb system it blocks the limb system create crystallization in the limbs and the blockage and you get inflammation and then partially which is carried again through the limb to be disposed through the liver and kidney creates the same structure increasing in the liver. It's just because of our salt, body of salt, if matches this carbon structure gases, this is where the problem starts. 